Welcome to Forking Tomatoes, or as they say, tomatoes. Today, Petra is gonna try Turkish snacks. I'm Müge. This is Petra, you know her. That's it. So, we're here with seven Turkish food snacks. Um, first of all, before we start, Petra, just to make sure that I'm not putting you in any danger. Are you allergic to anything? No, I don't have any food allergies. Okay. 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 Should do you want to start with salty or sweet? Let's start with salty. Do this in the proper order. All right. So we're gonna start with. Do I have I to show this to the camera? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's happening if you're not commenting. <laughs> I showed it to you, but not to Petra. Petra, now. Um, you, in front of you, you have a glass, you see it, right? So this, the first thing we're gonna do will be a touch test. So okay. she's gonna touch and see what it feels like. Yes, okay. inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. What does Ew. it feel like? It's a bit wet. <laughs> like, moist. <laughs> Ew! I don't know. <laughs> it's, is it some sort of vegetable like it feels like cabbage or something uh-huh uh-huh smell what it smells like I don't... oh yeah <laughs> it's like pickled something yeah. yeah it's like a pickled vegetable okay then taste okay. it <laughs> very conservative there oh it's very salty oh god <laughs> are pickled things usually this salty turkish ones are <laughs> but it is like cabbage, right? It is like, cabbage. That was cabbage. Really, yeah, yeah, that was really, really good. Yay! Would you like me to bring you a glass of water? No, it's it's good. I think I'm I'm good to move on to the next thing. All right. So, the next thing in front of you. It's a small one. Okay. 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 That's some sort of. Oh, it feels like um, pumpkin seeds or something. Uh huh, uh huh. It's seeds, yes. Seeds. Let's see what kind, if you will be able to tell. Yeah, a bit harder to chew than pumpkin seeds. The idea is actually you remove what's inside, right? You can eat it like this, it's not gonna hurt you or anything, but there's a softer seed inside. Oh, should I open it? Like yeah, that? yeah. Can I crack it? Yeah. Any idea what it could be? No, like the texture is somewhere along like pumpkin seed or sunflower seed or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Do you want I can't try? really point it. No, no, it's also very difficult to point out okay. actually. It's watermelon seeds. Really? Yeah. yeah. You can do this to watermelon seeds? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not better enjoying yourself. So normally, like seeds, we eat them while we watch something. Watermelon seeds are not. We do that, that too. We do that with sunflower seeds. See, and with that, you also get like tea or something, or no, you just eat them in front of the TV. Do you drink something with it? No. Okay. So we drink. We eat them in front of the TV. Okay. We eat them when we sit down outside. We eat them when we gossip. Right. Oh, yeah. We eat them when they gossip. That's the gossip material. But the watermelon seeds are not actually so common, especially in West Turkey. I think they're way more common where I am from, Adana, uh, and more the south and the east part of Turkey. You're enjoying it. I'm just gonna keep eating this until you take it away. <laughs> All right. Okay, last one, I guess. You can move on. I'm okay. ready. <laughs> the next thing. Oh, this is like a powder. Uh huh. Oh, it's a very strong smell, like curry kind of strong smell. Mm -hmm. But I don't. Is it curry? Is it some sort of nut? No, it isn't. It's just it's a spice, right? Yes, it's a spice. I don't know what spice, but it's like a blend of things, right? Yes. 
So it's a mix of different spices mm -hmm. and it's actually not and original. Cumin? I think maybe a little bit in there. I actually don't know what it is fully. I know the name and... Mm. Mm. Interesting. I think maybe a little bit cumin is in there. Mm. It's called zaftar. Mm -hmm. How you normally eat this is that you have... This is for breakfast. Um, in Turkey at least, we use it this way. We have bread, we dip it on, um, in olive oil and then dip it in this and then eat that, right? And it tastes nice. really good, like a piece of bread. Um, there are sesame seeds in there. It's a different mixes of spices, mm -hmm. but I believe it is actually origin, uh, original to, um, to Israel. They use it a lot oh. there. So it's a Middle Eastern thing. I'm not really sure, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But a lot of people eat it in the Middle East. I'll try this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a plastic container. Yes. This is another spice. Yeah, I need my other finger. Oh, this is not so good. Is it coffee? Yes! <laughs> it's ground coffee. <laughs> well, it's Turkish coffee. You know? Yes. But it's not very nice in the powder form. I much prefer drinking it. <laughs> when I first oh. put this on the table, Petra said, Do I smell coffee? Yeah. <laughs> and she said, No, she denied it. <laughs> what, what was I supposed to say? Yes. <laughs> this is your second one. Oh, I like the noise it makes. Is another sort of seed? Yes. They have to crack this open too? Yes, you have to crack this one. Mm, it tastes like sunflower seeds. Yes, it is sunflower seeds. But you have, like, this is much bigger and longer than what I'm used to because ours is like half this size. Really? Ah, and chubby? Yeah, a yeah. bit yeah. chubbier. Yeah. Are we ready for the first sweet? Yes. Now that my hands are In front of you, it's a mess. <laughs> oh, good. I was hoping for that. <laughs> Ew. What does it's it a bit, feel like? It's glitchy. Oh! Ah! Chestnuts! Oh! That was a good guess. Meanwhile, I've eaten You already bought me some of these. Did I? Yeah, I, I tried these before, right? Mmm! Nice. Do you but what do you do with them? Like, how did they become, like, so you sort of just boil them? I think we boil them, yeah. In sugar water, probably? Yeah. They are very sweet too. Do you like them? Yeah. I think they would be a bit better with some vanilla ice cream on them. Wow. The, like, chestnuts mm -hmm. 2.0. <laughs> yeah. What do you call chestnuts in Hungarian? Gestanya. Ah, Gestanya. There you go. <laughs> Highlight of the day. Something that I love. The coffee again. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that not be amazing if I just did that to you? <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. It... What is this? <laughs> this is a very rich texture. How do they taste it? Its name is Pishmania. Say it, Pishmania. Pishmania. Mm -hmm. What is this? I, I can't have, like, you can't detect the significant smell. Like, there is no smell, smell any, to it, like, no. Anything. What is it? It's very you gotta flaky. Put it, put it in your mouth first. <laughs> oh, it's like, um, cotton candy. Yes. Well, Why is it so flaky? Because... <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> so you make kind of like sugar wax thing, right? And then you yeah. pull it. It's like pulled sugar actually. Take off the blindfold if you want. <laughs> oh, this looks nothing like cotton candy. Right? I, mean, I imagine like, it. you know, big fluffy pink thing. And <laughs> this looks more like Zayakar. <laughs> no, it's just the color I mean. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually a mix of like vanilla and chocolate something, I guess. Oh. Although it doesn't really taste like chocolate, does it? No, not at all. 
Oh, I made the best. I don't know which one. Did you like them? Yeah. Yeah. I like them. How do you call them? Uh, kestane shekeri. Okay, just in... Kestane. Kestane. Shekeri. Shekeri. Shekeri is sugar, actually, right? Ah, shekeri. Like sweet things, like... Kestane shekeri. Yeah. I like them. I like them. Sweet. Yeah, I really like these, like, with Turkish tea. Just... Oh. I can spend hours on them. Yeah. Next time we can do drinks. In the end, the fork and tomatoes became very popular because people from all over the world subscribed to their videos and they liked every video too. And you know what else? They shared all their happy and lovely thoughts in the comments. And they clicked on the bell so they wouldn't miss a thing and get notified every time a new video was released. So in the end, the Fork and Tomatoes lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs>